Good Friday morning, church. We're glad you're with us today. We're going to worship here in just a moment, but it's time for the Friday update. Sunday morning, in-person worship. Connect groups start at 9 o'clock. So come in person, go to the Connect Centers, get connected to a small group Bible study. We believe true growth happens in those yeah. small group environments. Yeah, fellowships, that's right. Yeah, Sunday so morning is going to be great, too. As you know, we've been talking about Sunday morning. We're going to ordain two of our own to the gospel ministry, John Mark Cox and Jackson Moser. We had a great time last Sunday afternoon with the ordination council. The spirit of the Lord was in the room. But this Sunday morning, you're not, you don't see this on Sunday morning a lot, but we're going to do it on Sunday morning because we love these brothers. We believe in them. And so we're going to ordain them to the gospel ministry. The message this week, Jesus borrowed an upper room. He didn't stay there long, spent some time with his disciples. Mm -hmm. And here's what he's going to do. He's going to take a towel and a basin of water, and he's going to wash the feet of his disciples because he modeled servant leadership. And so I pray you'll join us in person online as we think about John 13, servant leadership for those in ministry and those who serve. Also coming up this weekend, something new, a sermon notes. As you have an opportunity, you can do this online, but also when you walk into the sanctuary this week on the entrances, you're going to see something like this. This will be sermon notes that you can take notes, you can fill in the blanks, much like we do on Wednesday nights. So we encourage you to pick up one of these on Sunday morning, follow along, you'll be able to keep this. You can go back weeks and months and see what the Word of God has to say. So that's something that's going to be new this week, so I hope you'll be able to do that. Several other things about giving. Giving is a part of worship. It's a part of stewardship. Yeah. Thank you, thank you, thank you for your faithfulness in giving every single week. Even though we don't pass the offering plates, you're faithful in giving. You're giving online. You're giving at the kiosk. You're mailing it in. You're dropping it by. You're giving in the tithe boxes. Thank you for your faithfulness in giving and stewardship. One of the things that we're focusing on in April is the Annie Armstrong Easter offering. Here's the amazing thing. Our goal was $10,000. As of Wednesday night, you had given $21,300. Wow. Praise Amen. the Lord for your faithfulness in giving. So we appreciate you doing that. And then one last thing that I want to touch base on is Israel. Mm. Uh, next February, we're going to journey to the Holy Land, and we're going to be in Israel. And we're going to have another informational meeting on Monday night, May the 3rd, 6 p.m. in the choir room. You can come in the music worship entrance. If you still have an interest in going, we encourage you to join us at that meeting on Monday night, May the 3rd. Because many people are looking for evidence. Hmm. Well, there's no better place to find evidence than walking in the Holy Land where Jesus prayed, where he taught, where he walked. You'll be able to do that in person. So we encourage you, if you have an interest, let us know or show up at the meeting on Monday night, May the 3rd. Now, evidence is something that we're going to focus on this week. That's right. We're going to sing a new song today and in person on Sunday morning. So sing with us, church. We can see the evidence of God's goodness all over our lives. Amen. Let's sing together. We'll see you Sunday. All throughout my history Your faithfulness has walked beside me The winter storms made way for spring In every season from where I'm standing Thank you. 